this is Jimon again and today I'm presenting to you the last topic on indices and this is um, standard index form um, first I want to quickly introduce this to you it has nothing to do with previous videos because uh, it's a bit uh, different so commonly this topic is called standard index forms and the general formula for solving a problem like this is this a times 10 raised to power n where your a should be in between 1 and 10 that is a should be equals to 1 and 10 and it should be I mean equals to I mean equal or greater than 1 and should be less than 10 so n should be an integer when I say integer I mean all number and it can be either negative or positive so now the general rule as a layman is um, uh, for you to solve any problem here uh, what do you need to do is just either shift the decimal point to the right or you shift the decimal point to the left of its original position and you do this until you get a number between 1 and 10 so the number of times you have shifted is what we give you n so if the decimal point is moved from the right of its original position it is uh, your n will be negative for example if I have 0 0.0025 if I move it 1 2 3 2.5 is between 1 and 10 so how many times I have moved I have moved three times that is why I'm having minus 3 as my n if the movement is to the left is going to be positive for instance I have uh, this number 10,000 so please note when you have number like this the point is here so if I move the point 1 2 3 4 I'm going to have 1.0 and since I've moved to the left four times I'm gonna have four uh, this is an explanation let's take an example um, this is a question from um, uh, West African um, uh, Examination Council 1990, uh, 1990 question 3 um, so express 0 0.00562 in standard form so remember the formula this is the formula so what you are going to find in this formula is a and n your a should be between 1 and 10 so let's pick uh, this uh, uh, the question you have this so if you shift to the right 1 you see 2 3 if you are here you are going to have 5.62 so your a is 5.62 you may ask why did I stop here why not here remember the definition of a if I come here I'm gonna have 56.2 which is already greater than 10 um, another question why am I not stopping here if I stop here I'm gonna have 0 0.562 0 0.562 is less than 1 so that is the reason why I am stopping immediately after 5 so my A is 5.62 because 5.62 is between 1 and 10 now how many times have I shifted and to what direction so this will give me the value of N so the decimal points have been shifted 3 times and to the right so that makes my n to be equals to minus 3 so my final answer is 5.62 times 10 raised to power 3 
so uh, with that I hope you should be able to do a lot of um, exercises from um, past questions I have UME here with his jump or UTM here now and I have SSCE so I believe you should be able to solve